Hey everybody, Elster76 here. I'm going to show you a little bud switch I came up with. I looked around, I haven't seen this one anywhere. And it's quite tiny. Um, the few that I have seen are a lot larger than this. Very resource friendly and so easy to make. Anyway, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a bud switch? It is a block update detector. There's something going on in here where it's already initiated, but it's not able to initiate. Therefore, when you try to update it, it initiates. There you go. This is what a bud switch is. You can go to any side of this. It'll react. You could put this on any side. Now, you might be also wondering, what is this good for? Well, there are so many uses. For example, in a garden, you could use a bud switch. If you wanted to automatically harvest your stuff, it's quite simple. The sugar cane is going to activate the bud switch now. So once it activates, it'll send current. Well, it'll take the current away, which will allow the torch to light up, which will get the piston to shoot. So I'll show you what I mean. You put down, well, this, we'll say, for example, it grows. This is what happens. It grows, current gets shot, boom, it harvests your sugar cane. Put hoppers and a chest down here and it's just automatically going to harvest it for you as soon as it grows. You could do the same thing with trees, pumpkins, there's so many uses in your garden. Anyway, another very cool little thing I like about this is glowstone or redstone ore. Some people don't really, they're not into redstone as much as I am, but you guys like cosmetic things in your worlds. Well, wouldn't you like to have this as a way to get in and out of your house? All you got to do is literally just hit it with anything and it'll open up your door. Go inside and it'll close your door. All it is is the glowstone ore right up against the side where the bud switch is. When you put it on the first time, it'll initiate then whenever you hit it, it'll turn, you know how if you touch glowstone ore, it lights up for a second? Well, that is what makes the update happen. So therefore, you could have it for a door switch. Once this stops glowing, I'm not sure the exact amount of time it takes, but once it stops glowing, the door will close. I guess we're not going to stand here for an hour and wait for it. I also put a switch on uh, another piece of glowstone, which is touching the same bud switch. This is one that's on the inside and there's that one on the outside on the opposite side anyway they're both touching it so you could also come inside and just hit this one it'll flip the switch here by using the bud switch up there and it'll close your door so anyway i'll just give you a really fast look at how to build this thing it's kind of self-explanatory but hey just in case someone's interested here you go my first tutorial it's so simple piece of obsidian any half slab you want on top of it. You gotta put one sticky facing up. And you'll need another sticky facing down. So I put the extra stickies up there because I'm in creative, makes it a lot easier. There you go, one sticky facing up, one sticky facing down. One block of sand on top. You can go do this part from any side you want. It doesn't matter if you go from the front to back. It's not directional or anything like that. One torch on the top. Just make sure when you put these half slabs, they're the top part of the slab and they're flush with the bottom of your sand block. Redstone dust and that's it. You're finished. You have created your first bud switch. Be proud. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, if you add a block, it'll react. You can add another block on the side after. It'll still react top and bottom. As long as you're adding blocks, it'll react. You could also, which is also pretty cool, you can make a, a type of a redstone key. You have to add redstone for it to initiate. If you throw something on it, it doesn't do anything. You could stand around here and jump and won't do anything either. I've seen a few bud switches that react when people go near them, but this one doesn't seem to do that. Maybe in survival it'll do it, I don't know for sure. But yeah, like I said, you can use it for a door. Which alone I find is pretty awesome. It's got a bit of a timer on it, so it'll last a bit longer. Other stuff you could do with it, like, well, right now I'm working on a huge castle gate, a portcullis gate, I think it's called. 
Anyway, I'm going to be using a bud switch to stop this mechanism from going up and down. Like I got a thing over here, this here. So when this gets up to a certain point, it's going to hit the bud switch and it'll turn off the whole machine so that it could stop working. Like bud switches have so many uses. Anyway, hopefully you liked. I'm sure you guys could find a bazillion other uses for this if someone else has already made this and then, and I just coincidentally made the same concept. Hey, I'm so sorry if I ever see your stuff, I will definitely add a tag to my video saying you came up with it. But uh, yeah, it's the smallest one I've seen.